The Raiders. Just when you thought they hit rock bottom, they knock a hole in the bottom of the rock. Well, the Raiders lost 25 to 20, as we all know, last week. They scored like 40 points in their last three games. So do the math. That's like 13 points a game in their last three games. And on top of that, they lost to the Colts. They lost to Indianapolis Colts. The Colts last week, they fired their coach on Monday. They hired a guy named Saturday, and they beat the Raiders on Sunday. I mean, it doesn't get any worse than this. The coach has never coached a game. Well, I'll put this. He's never coached a professional game in his life. He hadn't coached in college or professional level at all. Walks out of the broadcasting booth and comes out and he beats the Raiders. And on top of that, uh, about a month ago, he had a tweet talking about how the Raiders suck. If I saw a tweet and I was on the team, if I saw that tweet and I went out there and played against this guy, he would have had a fight on his hands. Did he have a fight on his hands? No, he didn't. He came out, three and out. Next possession, three and out. Actually, the most disturbing thing about this wasn't even the game. It was the press conference. The press conference. After the game, our starting quarterback, Darius Carr, he, here, let's just take a look at it. Um, you know, I can't speak for everybody. I know where I stand, and I love the silver and black. I'm going to give it everything I can every time I go out there. And um, I can't speak for everybody, um, you know, for every man, um, what's going on in their head. But I can tell you what's going on in my head, and I'm going to give it all that I can every single time. I, you know, I don't think so. Um, you know, I, love, I love Josh. I love the car. I love our coaches. Um, they've had nothing but success, you know, way more success than I've ever had, you know, and, uh, you know, I'm sorry. Derek, um, you know, I'm, sorry, continue to finish that. Sorry for being emotional. I'm just pissed off about some of the things, you know. That a lot of us try and do just to practice. What are we talking about? Practice? We're talking about practice, man. <laughs> what we put our bodies through just to sleep at night. <sighs> and for that to be the result of all that effort pisses me off. This is a lot of guys off. It's hard. Knowing what <clears throat> some guys are doing. Like I said, just to practice. We ain't talking about the game. We're talking about practice, man. What they're putting in their body just to sleep at night. Like just so we could be there for each other. And I wish everybody in that room felt the same way about this place. And as a leader, that pisses me off. If I'm being honest. He cried on the podium. He cried on the damn podium. Um, I wish, I wish Don Vito would have been there. <laughs> you can act like a man. What's the matter with you? Is this how you turn out a Hollywood Pinocchio that uh, cries like a woman? <laughs> what can I do? <laughs> what can I do? <laughs> what can I do? Now I know some of you are going to say, oh, that's passion. He has a great passion for the game. Well, my question is, where's his passion been for nine years? Nine years and all of a sudden now you want to start crying? Dude, I've been crying for nine years. I've been going to games for I don't know how long. In these last nine years, Derek Carr, watching you? I've been crying. Dude, I've been in the I've been in the rain. I've been in the snow. I've been in the heat. I spent all this money and now you just now crying? 
You just now crying? You lose a game and now you want to cry? You should have been crying a long, 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 long time ago. And now you want to cry. I want to know, were you crying when you cashed that check? When you got that $130 million, was you crying in? If you feel so bad, why don't you return some of that money? Hell no, you ain't going to return no money. But now you want to sit here and cry. Every football player goes through what you do. That's, that's why football players and athletes, that's why they get paid what they get paid. And unfortunately, I've been watching you for your whole career, buddy. And I've been crying. I should have been crying. We all should be crying. If you're a Raider fan, you should be crying. So now we're going to see what you're about. After your crying, are you going to win the game? Are you going to beat Denver? Denver don't care about your tears. Don't nobody care about your tears. You want to sit here and cry. I ain't never seen Jack Tatum cry. I ain't never seen Kenny Stabler cry. I ain't never seen Jim Plunkett cry. So I, I hope... You get something positive out of this. Hope you get a win. I hope some of these guys are going to feel sorry for you and your tears and now they're going to play harder. But instead of crying, crying saying that guys aren't doing what they're supposed to be doing, why don't you go in there and kick a little ass? Kick some ass, Derek Carr. Don't come in crying. Kick some ass. You should go in that locker room and whoever ain't doing what they're supposed to be doing, you need to call them out and kick some ass. Period. End of discussion. Don't go in there crying. But we'll see. Maybe these guys will respond to your tears. I sure hope you win. I sure hope we get this win. Because if you win, then maybe you need to start crying every week. I'm going to cry with you. Get a win. I'm going to be crying with you. Every, every week, I'm going to start crying. I'm going to start shedding tears for you, Derek. <laughs> and get the win. Let's see what happens in Denver. Denver.